Hello again everybody, Whiskey River here, and you probably saw the title, this one is on advanced ambushing tactics. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. I did a video a while ago on ambushing, and I'll put a link in the description below, but that video was more on basic ambushing and more of the obvious ambushing, you know, find a spot that's a, a good place to jump out of the bushes and ambush someone from. And um, everybody always expects that and is prepared for that. But this type of ambushing is more ambushing from plain sight. And you're ambushing in a way that players are not expecting it. You know, everybody always expects the Rex to be jumping out of the bushes, you know, where it's dark and scary. And so like on this trail right here, when you go across that bridge on the other side, there's trees on the other side, on either side of the trail, and everybody's always prepared for a Rex to come bursting out of those bushes trying to bite you. So it's easy to defend against. But those two hats that I just killed, for example, I mean, they knew I was in the area. They saw me walking around, and I was still able to ambush them. How is that? Well, it's because they got used to me being in the area, and they didn't think I was a threat. Um, one of the tricks is that you can you can walk around in an area and all the players will get used to you. They start getting complacent. They see a Rex and it's not doing anything, it's not threatening anybody, and they just think that it's, uh, that it's safe. You know, they let their guard down after a while. And you can look around and observe and you can kind of tell the players that are, that are comfortable with you. And uh, they'll do things like this Giga did and it laid down. And um, he probably thought that since I didn't tarry him, maybe I wasn't a threat, but um, I was hungry to hunt, so I wanted to hunt him. So I didn't tarry him. Instead, I hunted him. Um, and these players here, they're laying down. I mean, they saw me walking around the pond earlier, and they decided to lay down. And you can see the way that they're looking, the direction that they're looking, uh, they think that I'm still over there more than likely, but I circled all the way around here and now I'm behind this hill and I'm in a spot where I can ambush them. And they probably think they're far enough away from this hill that if I did run at them, they would have time to react, but they are sorely mistaken. And um, that's one of the things that people do a lot is they underestimate the, the, the speed of the Rex. It can cover a lot of ground in a shorter period of time than most people think. And when you're fully laying down like this, you do not have time to react. And I can, I can walk around in an area and actually kind of observe and see the players that are very alert uh, are not good targets, and the ones that are complacent and start getting comfortable in my presence, those are the ones that I'll target. And you can tell, you know, they'll do things like lay down. Um, you'll see them chatting a lot. If they're chatting a lot in local, that means that they've got their their chat window up, and so they're not really paying attention to their surroundings. And those are the good targets. And uh, you know, like I said, I mean, I'm I'm kind of hiding in plain sight in a lot of these cases. This Packy Rhino here, for example, he's got plenty of time to react. I'm very, very far away from him. Far enough away from them that uh, they should have had, if they knew I was here, they'd have plenty of time to react. But they were being very focused on their questing. And, um, you know, I, it looked like he stared directly at me right here uh, for a second. But he didn't see me, apparently. Maybe the anthill blocked my view. I don't know. He was focused on the anthills and collecting, possibly reading his quests. But, you know, I could just tell by his mannerisms that they, they, they just didn't see me. They didn't know I was, they weren't paying attention enough. And um, you'll notice, too, uh, another tip is when the player is laying down or sitting down, you want to lead with a bite and not a bone break because when they're sitting down, it reduces the time that the bone break has. And if they're laying down, I don't, I don't even think it really bone breaks. I think it's like a two second bone break. And by the time they stand up, they can run away. So if you've ever been in that situation where you bone break something that's sitting down and it just gets up and runs away, well, that's why. So that's kind of hiding in plain sight. The other thing I do is I pick some spots like this one here where it's not a real obvious ambush spot. I'm kind of up on top of those rocks, 
and I can see everything down in Hot Springs and um, sneaking around here and this this one here is probably healing up or doing you know he's laying down near the healing water so they think that they're in a safe place because they've got a wall on one side and water on the other side uh, but they're not and you can see how stealthy the Rex is for being as big as it is and as loud as it can be it can also be very very silent and stealthy and if you walk slow and crouch you know it's it's very very quiet and they didn't have any idea I was coming around that corner and by the time they saw me it's just too late so in this clip here uh, there's a spino here in the area and he was trying to hunt me earlier on land so I had to remind him that the spino can't hunt an apex unless the apex is actively swimming and so he was very very overconfident and he went over here and he laid down he knows I'm in the area, but I was able to sneak up, use these bushes as cover, and ambush him. Of course, again, I leave with the bite, and at this point, he just stands no chance. So, he got the fight that he wanted, but I'm sure that wasn't the result that he had in mind. So, it really just comes down to picking good targets. Pick the targets that are overconfident, that are complacent, that are distracted. Uh, the, you can tell the ones that are alert and don't, don't go after those, go after the ones that, that are not alert. And after you walk around in, in, a, in an area like this for a little while with a lot of, especially when there's a lot of activity, people are easily distracted, um, you know, they're chatting in local chat and they're doing, they're focused on other things. <laughs> and so my recommendation is if there's a Rex in the area, be very, very alert. And uh, that's it guys, that's the uh, advanced ambushing tactics. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you out there in Gondua. Goodbye.